Hi guys, and welcome to your 9th or 10th, maybe 11th XFO programming tutorial. Anyway, today we're looking at programmatically hiding and showing the iPhone status bar. Let me quickly show you what that looks like. So, I'm just going to open the iOS simulator. And the status bar, in case you didn't know, is the bar at the top of the screen that shows the time, battery, Wi-Fi signal, uh, your carrier signal, all of that sort of stuff. And we're gonna, I'm going to be showing you how to show that and then hide it again. A uh, few apps use that. You notice it, not, very few of the system applications like Safari and anything do, but you will see apps that do uh, programmatically hide and show it. Often you'll find in an app there'll be a settings menu and you can choose to hide or show it in that. So that's what we're looking at today. We're going to have a button that shows the status bar and then when you click it again it hides it and then so on. So I go ahead and create a new Xcode project, just a single view application will be fine for this. I'm just going to call it status bar, you can call it whatever you want, makes uh, no difference in this application. And create that project. And I'm just going to get rid of landscape left and right. And go straight to your XIB, we're going to add a button in to begin with. And we're going to call it toggle status bar. Uh, it, th this project will work really well with a switch or a segmented control, but because I haven't yet done a tutorial on a switch, I will be including that in part 4 or 5 of tutorial 3, which was a long time ago, but I continue to add to, to, to tutorial 3 as I go through all the different UI elements. Uh, I've done a tutorial on segmented control, so with the code that I'll show you today, I'll show you how that can work with a segmented control. So you just create a button, I'm going to call it toggle status bar. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, just to make it look a bit better, I'm also going to change the background colour. And then go into your split editor, uh, it's called the assistant editor, up in this top corner here. And so you can see both. And right click or control click, um, depending on what type of Mac you're using in your settings. In fact, no, wait. First add curly brackets after the add interface line on your uh, .h file. And then what you need to do is we need to create an action for the button, and I've shown you how to do that before, but just right click, control click, drag into the .h file, set it to be the connection to be an action, touch up inside, type ID, argument sender, and we'll just call it toggle. Again, you can call it anything you like. So let me quickly show you one more thing before we continue, and that's the fact that if you only want it, uh, if you only want the status bar to be hidden, for example, and you don't want to toggle it, you just want it to be hidden and you just want the code for that, you can just in this summary click hide during application launch, then go back into your XIB, click on the view controller and set the status bar to be none. And if you run that now you won't have a status bar. But if you want to actually toggle it and have a settings option or something along those lines, don't do any of that. Go into your .m file and we'll start writing the code. It's fairly simple. Um, the actual code is just doing square brackets UI application space shared application, close square brackets, dot, status bar, hidden, equals yes. If we run that now, when I click the button, it's going to hide the status bar, hopefully, anyway. Let's have a look. Toggle status bar, and it's gone. There is one issue with that, though. Once I click it again, nothing happens. And you can also see there's a black line. Now, the black line's because we haven't set up auto layout properly. Um, I think we can get rid of that just by get, uh, changing status bar to none. And if we run that again, we should see that that black line is gone, but you're still going to have the issue with the buttons. So, there you go. So, to uh, do a test with the button so we can toggle it, we do if square brackets UI application, shared application, close square brackets dot status bar, hidden equals equals yes. So, we're doing a test, we're doing an if statement, and I've done a tutorial on that. Then we want our uh, UI, uh, we need to do square brackets, sorry, UI application, shared application, dot status bar hidden, equals no. So if it's currently hidden, and we click the button, we want it to unhide it. And if it's not hidden, then we want to hide it. So then we do else if, ah, uh, sorry, else if, and we need to create an if statement, UI application, shared application, you can just copy and paste the code from before, dot status bar hidden, equals equals no, then we want UI application, shared application, uh, dot status bar hidden equals yes. And delete that line we wrote at the beginning. And that'll toggle the status bar. Hopefully, anyway. 
Yep, there you go. So the spire's there, so the spire's not there. And you can see that in our view. And let's run it on, let's go back to the simulator. And I'll show you that it also works on all the devices. We can go into our iPhone 4 inch, which is a much nicer looking simulator too. And you'll see that it is once again there in status bar. So that's the basics of that tutorial. If you want me, uh, I'll quickly show you how, if you want to, when the application loads, you want to hide it just in your view did load, do the same code, UI application, shared application, uh, dot status bar hidden equals yes. And that means as soon as the view loads, it's going to hide the status bar. And you'll see it's there and then it's not there. And then you can see you get rid of that black line. So that's our tutorial for today. There's a few other uses for this UI application, set application. So let me set it back to no so I can show you a few other properties of status bar. We have the same code, your application shared application, which pretty much just means system application. Dot, and then we start typing status we, bar. We can see a few different options. We can see the orientation, the style. Um, and so if we do that, we can then do equals UI status bar style and then we can choose a different style if we wanted to um it's up to you so there's quite a lot of potential for that and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'm not going to do a tutorial on all the system functions but if you want to find some other ones type your application shut application dot and then press the escape key and you can see all the different things you can do you can unregister for notifications change the user interface layout there's a few different things that you can do that you might not have known that you could do before uh, supports applications supports shake to edit and that means that if you've got a text box and you shake the device it'll support undoing which is actually quite useful so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you've got any questions or comments or ideas for further tutorials comment on this video or send us a message or go to 99centsappdevelopment.com and send us a message there you can also see our portfolio of applications and i do recommend downloading them so i uh, once again i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you next time